morning, first teachers. My name is Amelia Joan Brown. Today I want to talk to you about emergent writing. How do we help a child move from infancy all the way to three to start using a pen or a pencil or a crayon to do something like writing their name? It all starts in infancy and you'll notice that from around about three months children will start to grab objects um, and they use their whole hand to do it. They are not using their fingers or their hand muscles, they are using their arm muscles uh, to have a crude grasp. So they'll be able to manipulate the object to bring it closer to them or move it to the side uh, by using their whole arm. Things start to change a lot from around about six months and you'll start to notice that children will begin to use their thumbs. So they'll still be holding the object but they'll suddenly start to use their thumbs to hold it as well. And we call this a palmer grasp. So giving them objects that are easy and chunky to hold, that have little rings, this is the perfect age to start this. Suddenly from around about seven months, you'll start to see that they're using all their fingers and they're suddenly starting to manipulate the side of their thumbs to move the object. And we call this a radial grasp. That moves on to um, something that we call a raking grasp, which is around about eight months. You'll expect to see the child starting to bend their fingers and move things towards them with a raking movement. So that is called a raking grasp. Um, anything where they can move items along, uh, big balls, things like that, big blocks, um, it is perfect for this sort of age group. The next thing that we would expect to see is at around about nine months, and we would expect to see what we call a radial digital grasp. So this is suddenly where they start to use their middle finger, their pointer finger, and their thumb, um, and they're starting to use the pads of their fingers. So instead of using the four fingers, we're starting to see the pads of their fingers being used to manipulate and move objects. And this moves on to a 10 month where we suddenly start to see a big difference and children start to use what we call a pincer grip. Pincer grip meaning that there's two fingers that are being used, the pointer finger and the thumb, and the child is able to move an object with just two fingers. So it starts off with an inferior pincer grip. So in other words, uh, the child will move an object using their full fingers, and then it moves on to a full pincer grip where the child is using the tips of their fingers from around about uh, 10 months. Um, anything where a child can pick an object up and put it into a container, is perfect for this age group. Um, from around about 12 months from the time that they turn one, they'll start to use the Palmer Supinate Grip. Now this is perfect for things like utensils. If a child is learning to use a spoon, um, this is the perfect time to get them to do this because they'll be able to pick it up and start to put the food in their mouth. Um, children like to try and hold things and move them specifically things um, like utensils, even chunky crayons, perfect for this age group. And suddenly from the age of two, you'll suddenly start to notice that the grip uh, moves downwards, getting ready to move into a, a writing position. So it's still, um, it's still a grip that uh, grips around the utensil, but you now have it called a digital pronate grip. So they're starting to pronate, but they are using their digital fingers down. The thumb and the fingers start to uh, point down. This moves us on to a perfect timing for um, moving on to what we call the tripod grip. From age three, the child is able to start using a pen or a pencil or a crayon in the same way that a child at school would be able to use it. Starting by using the pincer grip with two fingers and adding on a third finger to make a tripod, three fingers, and making sure that the tripod fingers are on the pen, pencil or crayon and making sure that the other fingers are pointing back towards the child. Um, sometimes you can actually get special uh, pins that have three sides um, and this will help a child who is really struggling with this. From this uh, age you can now start getting the child uh, to copy their name if they're very interested in going to a writing table. Um, but this is the correct writing form that you will need all the way through school. So getting it right at the age of three will help you in the future. Um, so that is the last script that we teach when the child uh, goes to school. So once they, they start this at age three, they'll then move into uh, age four and then move into school at age five. Uh, and that is what they'll be using at school as well. So we hope that helps you. 
We hope that gives you a lot of information about the graphs and groups that the child will go through to, uh, to start writing. Um, and hopefully you have a happy, healthy and safe day. See you next time.